We're saved by faith. There's no doubt in, about that. We all get that. <laughs> but I, I love what Paul said to the Galatians. In the first three verses of chapter 3, he said, Having received the Holy Spirit by faith, are you now going to reach perfection through the works of the flesh? He was trying to tell them the same way you were saved, that's the same way you got to live. That simple, childlike faith. But see, as believers in Christ, we have another set of eyes. We've got the eyes of the heart. And we can understand things with our heart that you can never understand with your head. I'm particularly fond of this scripture in Hebrews 11:3 that says, by faith we understand how the world was made. Now, I think by faith we can understand all kinds of stuff that our head can never understand. Then we don't have to be confused. We don't have to worry. We don't have to be upset all the time because by faith it's like, I don't know what God's doing. I can't explain it to you, but I know God's working. And I know what it looks like, but I also know what it's going to end up like. Doesn't the Bible say in Romans that there's a period of time where we look like sheep being led to the slaughter, but right in the midst of all that, you are more than conquerors through Christ who loves you. And I don't have to explain to people why if I'm trusting God it hasn't happened yet. I don't know. God's got a timetable. And he doesn't discuss it with me. All I know is I'm praying and saying and doing. I'm going to do my very best to do what I believe God's asking me to do. And whatever the results are is up to him. If I die believing God and I still haven't got it, I'm going to die believing God. I wish that somebody tonight would get over this thing. Well, God, I'm going to give this one more week. Come on now. No, you need to make the commitment. I'm in for however long it takes, God. And even if I don't ever see anything, I'm in. 